The idea for this movie came from a short film called T is for Turbo, and it was submitted as an entry for one of the ABCs of Death films. Thought that was kind of interesting. What's up, everybody? Back today to talk about Turbo Kid 2015. Done by a couple of French Canadian guys, I believe. I'm gonna stick with the French Canadian thing. I don't wanna mess up their names, but let's talk about Turbo Kid. Kind of a tongue in cheek, sci fi, fun movie, basically. I, that's the best way to explain it. It's a fun film. And let's get into a little bit. The story is it's 1997 and everything's been destroyed by acid rain and all this stuff. It's post apocalyptic, and we are introduced to Turbo Kid. And he rides everywhere on his BMX bike, and so does everybody else in this movie. The bad guys, everybody have BMX bikes, which is pretty funny. And the kid, at the beginning of the film, he has this cool lair. It's all tricked out with all this, you know, 80s, 90s cliche stuff, like a Ruby's Cube. Uh, he's got a Walkman, and there's more stuff that comes into it later. But, yeah, it's really tongue-in-cheek, and it kind of makes fun of a lot of almost Saturday morning cartoons, I felt. Had a little bit of you know Conan the Barbarian movie in there, I thought. And just cheesy, bad sci-fi films. And if you like something like, you know, Hobo with a Shotgun, Manborg, this is the kind of movie I think you're going to want to see, definitely. In fact, Jason Eisner was one of the executive producers on this film. Yeah, it's just a fun film. There's tons of blood. Let me get into the good things. First of all, yeah, if you want blood, it doesn't sound like it's a horror movie, right? But there is blood splattering all over the place. It's kind of... On that Evil Dead level, hilarious, you know, blood all over the damn place in the suite, which I thought was funny. Probably the only thing keeping me from letting my kids watch it. But the best thing about this film was the character Apple. Turbo Kid basically meets this girl named Apple, and she's real funky, really weird, and she's like the perfect match for Turbo Kid. And it sounds stupid, I know, but it's this really charming little relationship, and it really elevated the movie to a whole nother level, I thought. Seriously, I mean, without Apple, I don't think this movie would have been half as good. It just gives it a lot of heart, the film, her character, and just this kind of, the whole thing becomes kind of this sweet coming-of-age story. And I think that's the way it was intended, basically. Hopefully, maybe we can see some more out of Turbo Kid in the future. And then there's another character who contributes to the bloodshedding. His name is Skeletron. And he's basically Michael Ironside, plays the bad guy, and Skeletron's his evil sidekick. Cool character design on a low budget, I gotta admit. Fits right in with the 80, 90s cliche cheesiness, basically. And yeah, he looks cool at the same time. So, Skeletron, thumbs up for Skeletron. I don't know what else to say. It did have some faults, in my opinion. You know, sometimes the tongue-in-cheekness goes a little too far in these movies. But one thing that was kind of lost on me was a little bit of the humor. I didn't think the writing was too humorous. More of the actions, you know, the slapsticky blood and stuff like that were funny. And then Apple, she's pretty funny. But the interaction between the characters really isn't that funny. And, you know, this is basically nitpicking because I did enjoy the film. It's completely different from most things you see nowadays. And the one big complaint, and I'm not going to let them slide on this one as much, is that... I think they should have had more BMX tricks because at the beginning when they have the opening montage showing Turbo Kid what he does, they kind of have him doing a couple of bike tricks. And then I was like, oh, maybe throughout the movie they're going to have, you know, all the bad guys and stuff doing all these bike tricks. And they really didn't. And I thought the movie could have been elevated, you know, probably up to a five level. They would have included some more BMX tricks. So if we have a Turbo Kid 2, hopefully they do that and include a lot of BMX stunts and stuff like that. Because then it would have reminded me more of movies like Solar Babies and stuff like that. I'm going to give Turbo Kid a 4 out of 5. I did enjoy it. I was longing to show my kids. I'm concerned about the amounts of blood though. And of course there's a lot of cussing. But it makes it great for adults. It's fun. I, I just thought the, the violence was well mixed with the cheesy tongue in cheekness. All that was good. It looked good. It, you know, you have this bright neon stuff with Turbo Kid and his belongings and stuff set against this kind of desolate nastiness and then you know, apple she's wearing turquoise and you know it just makes you feel that 80s sort of vibe so i really did enjoy the film the hype is believable maybe not as good as some people thought it was but yeah four out of five definitely something worth watching something different something original and you know the throwback thing has been done a million times but this one like i said just captured it better, wrapped up in that nice, charming little coming-of-age story, and that's the part, I think, really, that set it apart from most of these throwback films. So, check out Turbo Kid if you have. Comment down below, let me know what you thought, um, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.